Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're going to paint this fancy peacock rock. So stay tuned. <clears throat> so a little, a little known fact about me is that I do have one tattoo and it runs all the way down my right side from the top of my right side all the way down and wraps around my lower back and it is of a peacock because I absolutely love peacocks. And when I was coming up with the design for my tattoo, I had drawn out several different designs. This was one of the designs. Now, this has obviously been formatted to fit on a three-inch rock. Uh, the original design, you know, was much longer. The tail and everything stretched down so that it could wrap around my back. But this one has been, has been modified, but it is pretty much exactly what I had designed. I did not go with this design, but I I really loved the way it was all drawn out. Um, so I don't show you how I drew this out because it's very, it's kind of complicated or confusing until you add color to it. And once the color's you know, then it's pretty clear. It's not a complicated drawing at all. But I do provide the traceable for this over on my Patreon page, <clears throat> like I do for all of my rocks. It's free for anyone to download. Um, you may have to follow the page. I'm not 100% sure how that works, but it is free to download. So I'm just starting off with blue um, I believe this was a thalo blue and and white. I'm trying to think. It was either thalo blue or primary blue. They're both pretty similar, so it doesn't it doesn't matter. You just use whatever blue you have available. And then I outlined my whole design, and I do that just so that uh, one, it makes it easier for me to see. The design and two, um, as I paint, I don't lose my design. And so on this one, there is blending done, but it doesn't need to be smooth because you're creating feathers. So the if the blending is kind of choppy looking, that just kind of lends itself to the effect of the the feathering effect. So don't be concerned about that. Now the colors don't show up quite as true, I don't think, in this video. Um, we'll have to see. I know when I take pictures of it, the, the aqua colors don't show up very well. So it goes from a dark bluish purple on the tail. It goes from a dark bluish purple to an aqua color to a magenta to pink. And right there, it is pretty obvious. So, yeah, I was worried it wasn't going to show up correctly, but it looks like it's going to. <laughs> I know sometimes purples don't, purples always look like blue. So again, I'm just blending in and I'm doing this by creating uh, glazing layers. And I've talked about how I do that a lot in my videos. And then on, on the wings, they are a dark aqua and a light aqua at the tips. Now there is a companion piece to this rock, which is of a phoenix. That video will be available for my Patreon subscribers, so you'll get uh, Companion Rocks again this week, just like we did last week. Or, no, this week. No, it was on Tuesday. This will be, be out on Thursday. My days tend to blend together. <laughs> Now I'm going to paint all of this in with color, and that's another reason why your blending doesn't have to be spot on. Um, 
if you're going to do like I did, I went over my whole design except for the uh, vine that the peacock is sitting on in um, like mica powder. And we'll go over that when we get to that stage. So you can either leave it just painted or you can go over it with the mica powder or nail powder, uh, any kind of pearlescent or glittery uh, powders would work great. If you have one or the other on hand, I would just go with what you've got. But I want it to be real. In this case, I'd, I didn't want it so much glittery, but I did want it to have a, to be pearlized. Is that a word? I don't even know. It's very early. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so <laughs> my brain is not, my brain doesn't function when it's like the middle of the day and I've been up for hours. So it for sure isn't going to function at this time. I'm trying to convince my husband to let me buy a peacock. We have some friends that raise peacocks. And I would love to have one. But apparently when he was a kid, he had they had they had peacocks and I guess one of them flogged him when he was a kid. And so he's not a big fan of them, I guess. Our friends have, uh, they raise several different kinds, and they have pied peacocks, which means that there's a lot of white in the coloring. They're so pretty. I would love to have one of those. I have a pied ball python, and she's she's beautiful. I know a lot of people don't like snakes, but <laughs> she's... If you are a snake lover or like snakes, reptiles, she's beautiful. She's just a baby, though. She's only a little over a foot long. So you can see we're just going in and doing each tail is, uh, is done. Each tail feather is done the same way. So like I said, this is a lot of blending, but it, so this would be a good rock to practice your blending, but if it's not perfect, it doesn't matter. Cause I had a lot of like sh streaks in mine and I left it that way because I thought it, you know, it adds to the feathering effect. So you don't have to have a smooth gradation between the colors. I know I have a bad glare on this rock, so sometimes it's it's hard to see what, what I'm doing. And really, when you see me just going over it multiple times, it's just I'm just uh, brightening the color. Because I am fighting with the black background. And I get impatient. That's the reason why I don't paint a lot of my subjects white and then paint over them. I'll do them if I really need, like if I have a yellow that I really need bright, um, sometimes I'll go ahead and paint the, 
the subject white so then I get a truer color but most of the time I just paint straight onto the black background just because I get I get impatient and that's just one more step I don't want to have to do but it is going to require more layers of paint so I guess I'm not doing myself any favors by not painting it white it just feels like I'm leaving a step out but I'm actually adding more steps in the case of having to add more layers So now I've mixed up a brown and I'm going to paint and this is the vine that the peacock is sitting on. So now we're going to paint in the leaves. And I, I started off with a light color. So this is like just a bright green. I don't remember what it's called. All of my colors are li linked below in the description. But any kind of light green, you can make this with any green you have and just add white to it or add yellow. Probably yellow. Yellow would be better. But then I'm going to go over this. I'm going to glaze some darker green on top of it. And honestly, it really doesn't matter. Because once you start adding the, the mica powder to it, you can't really see your color below it. I mean, you can a little bit, but not that much. So the coloring isn't imperative at this point. Oh, excuse me, I'm getting the yawns. <laughs> so here's I'm glazing on just a little bit of a darker color in the middle. This is, I do know that this is hooker's green that I'm glazing. Uh, glazing on top of the, the light, bright green. So now I'm just kind of going in and highlighting the... Uh, the ivy or um, this branch I can't remember what I called it oh my gosh it's way too early for me I'm sorry and I'm painting in the beak and the heart the the leaves are all just heart shapes and the beak of the bird is also a heart So now I'm going in and adding uh, some shading to the vine. And depending on where you add your highlights and your shadows will make the vine look like it's twisting. I'm adding another layer of the hooker's green. Now this is glazed, uh, watered down to a glaze. And again, once you add the pearl, if you go with the pearl powder on top of this, the colors are, are going to be more defined by the pearl powder than the paint underneath. And now I'm just cleaning up some of my lines.
You see, I forgot to paint one of my uh, leaves in, but I will, I'll notice that and I will paint it in here in a minute. As you can tell, Harley is awake. <laughs> she, she's finally woke up. And every time she wakes up, she's she goes through her through her repertoire of noises, words, and phrases every morning and every evening. And I'm using the Createx black airbrush paint to outline my design. You see, I made that one line really thick on my that lower wing, so I'll have to go back in and fix that as well. a little off off screen here but I'm just outlining I'm not doing anything special so now I'm going to go in and thin out that line Now I'm taking some pink and just brightening up the ends of the tail a little bit more. And adding the little feather on top of the head. And I didn't, I was adding the sparkle to the eye, but it was like the dot was too big, so I had to, I'm gonna have to fix that. And signing my rock. I'm not done, but I am done with the painting part of this rock. Oh, except for the little leaf that I forgot about. I'm just going in and cleaning up my background. This is the Apple Barrel Flat Black. And I'm just removing any pencil lines or I don't have to worry about thinning out the outline where my black meets my background. I don't have to worry about that because when I spray this rock down with the triple thick, um, it turns the whole background black. So you won't actually see the design um, outline except for what's inside the design. Like around the feathering and, 
and or the wings and stuff like that, but you won't actually see the the line that actually outlines the whole design once it's glazed. So now I've, I'm using the I've pulled out all of my pearl powders or mica powders. I'm using the brand is Pearl X, which will be linked below in the powder section. And they sell, I think it's a set of 36 and maybe 24 or 36, I can't really remember. But it was off of Amazon that I got these. And I got these several years ago. And I have I used them quite a bit on my rocks, but I've hardly gone through any of the powder. So they last a long time. And what I'm doing is I'm taking water and I'm mixing the water in with the paint or with the powder that is in the lid and creating kind of a, a thin paste, kind of a paint consistency and painting on the powder. I don't want the powder to be loose because that's going to create a mess. But so I add the water to it to make it stick to the rock better. And I'm going to do the whole design. And what I did was I just pulled out the colors that match the colors that I used to paint the peacock. And that set had every color I needed in there. And those powders are a little... A little pricey. I think I want to say they were thirty to forty dollars for the set. But as much as I've used them, I've hardly used any of the powder. Like I have a ton of it left. And I'm just using I'm just going over using the color in the exact spot that it is on the the rock if that makes any sense so if there was aqua green green on the leaves and in the tail that or not the leaves but the wings and the tail then that's where i put it the powder as well And I do everything but the vine. I do the leaves and the peacock, but I leave the vine alone. I don't, I don't put the pearl powder over it. Now my magenta powder is kind of holographic and and the effect that it, in some directions, it looks more purple, in others, it looks more magenta. So when I move my rock around, sometimes it kind of changes the color sometimes, which I'm okay with. Now I'm painting in the the uh, pink. But this color was a little too dark and I ended up finding one that was lighter and more more on point with the color that I had originally painted. See, it's almost a perfect match now. So even if you select the wrong color, you can go back over it. Since these have all been wet down, you can just paint over it. Now some of the colors are more of a more sparkly, more like a glitter, like a micro glitter, and then some are more like pearlescent. 
And I chose everything that was more pearlescent. Because that's what I wanted. I, I wanted it just to have a, a pearl-like shimmer to it. I didn't want it to be real glittery. But you could do whatever you wanted. Or you just leave it just painted. Either way, it's going to be beautiful. So now I'm taking a, this is more of a, I guess a purple, pur purplish blue to add kind of the shadow. So I pretty much just repainted it with the pearl powder exactly like I did the original design. And now I'm taking, I'm just outlining again, just cleaning up my lines because sometimes the pearl powder uh, will cover up the, the line, the outline, if you put it on there too thick. And kind of get out of the lines. So I'm just cleaning all that up. And there you go. So now I don't normally do this, but this is what the rock looked like after one coat of the triple thick, <laughs> triple, oh my gosh, triple thick uh, clear coat. I normally do two, but I wanted to try to show you how pearlized it looks. I, I'm not sure if it's showing up as well as it does on the actual rock. The actual rock is really pretty. So I hope you'll give this rock a try. <clears throat> it's a lot of fun. It'll make a, it'll make a great gift for somebody. So make sure you hit like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.